guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is esema ingi mkwaje how you feeling um hmm. today 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 is just i don't know what i'm feeling but i'm i'm quite okay as you can see i'm fine uh today's video we just trying to pick a story it's just it's we're just vibing nothing serious nothing really yeah but i want to talk about some few things um about fashion about style about basically about people's preferences yeah it's in the morning i'm taking my breakfast So, I want to talk about first. I will tell you guys. First of all, let's 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 look at my outfit. I'm wearing this blazer. Is it beige or I don't know? And this choker from Masai Market. And I have this hair braid. I don't have hair, but you know, like mm -hmm. I know how to style these things. So you know, you just just playing around with everything um, and um i have my nuba lipstick on and my pearl earrings i don't have makeup i don't really do makeup most of the times you will just find me with lipstick and maybe my brows done but today i've not done my brows my eyebrows and um i've just put up this this is um this this is a what you can it i use it as a top or um tummy what what do, what do you call them tummy something something like that uh just i don't want to stand up anyway let me just stand up this trove i wore it the other day in school but who cares yeah so this is this is my look for today yeah let's talk about first of all um who inspires me um my favorite fashion vloggers and i really don't have that much um i pick my inspo from the streets basically um i would just see someone wearing a nice thing and i'll be like nice this is this 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 would go nice with this and this and this um yeah um the streets inspire me pinterest but also i have some few um vloggers fashion vloggers or bloggers who inspire me the first one being uh joy candy from kenya i really like her style it's like it's so posh it's so classy you know like i love a classy and posh style you know and uh i really think that she's done so much work uh, i started following her since i was in i think primary primary yeah 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 that's that's how long i've loved fashion like me i don't know I just love fashion and um I, she's inspired me in so many ways from all those years uh the other one um is say nico his name is say nico uh he's a u.s uh fashion wardrobe stylist yeah i really like that guy like he makes everything magical you need to go like check out his work if you're into fashion like he's just he makes things magical from your body type from blending in colors from like i don't know guys it's just um the other one would be um, what's her name this lady from south africa bonang mateba something like that i don't know from i don't know if i've pronounced the name the special the second name right but i like her style her fashion sense is 
I don't know if she's a stylist, but I just like her uh, her style. Mm. Uh, and then there is uh, her name is Sylvia Silales. She she goes by Silales on Instagram. I really like her style so 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 much. Like she she she's one of the people who inspired me. Who inspires me. Um, the other one would be uh, I don't know have I've forgotten her name uh, she's also from Instagram she's inspired me in so many ways and uh, if I get her name I'll, I'll just spin it here but yeah those are just but a few of them but but my fashion sense really comes from anything I, I can be inspired by anything you know like i also inspire myself <laughs> yeah so yeah, yeah i inspire myself i can put one two three things together and they would be really looking cute yeah i can buy i can just see something uh, like a piece like a dress or a top or a trouser and be like now this would look good i don't know in what but let me just buy it one day i'll figure out what i've just raised my seat i was i was looking like i'm in a shimmer uh in a hole anyway that's it about fashion and anyone can look really nice if you want to and you don't have to have like a lot of money to look good and even men can look good men stop wearing these material things i i really hate those things those trousers material trousers the ones for kaunda suit and mm. anyway anyone can look good if you want to i know when i say anyone you don't have to have a lot of money to look good men cannot relate but really you don't have to to have a lot of money to look good mm -hmm. something else i wanted to talk about i wanted to talk about tattoos there's there's been so many stigmas around people with tattoos and um it's just like the way we have in kenya people with uh, dreadlocks i don't know if nowadays they they've accepted that but they fully accepted it but people with dreadlocks used to be discriminated against and used to be i think there are people who still do that if you have dreadlocks they they like stereotype you into some i don't know they stereotype you basically and uh i feel it goes the same way with tattoo i don't have dreadlocks but i would like to talk about tattoos so my tattoos i have as you can see i have tattoos this is uh the biggest one i have i have three tattoos uh, i have another one on my uncle uncle Apochinia ankle and then I have this one I don't know if you guys can see it uh, I didn't really <clears throat> take good care of it so <clears throat> so it's it um somehow got bedded yeah but this one I get a lot of compliments uh about it but i know equally people would judge you with tattoo so me getting this tattoo this tattoo was inspired by <clears throat> a heartbreak like no this the, the people who ask me what do your tattoos tattoo mean especially this one because this this one is the one that is most visible <clears throat> people who ask me what you, what my tattoo means now this is your chance to shine mm. So this tattoo <clears throat> here i was once heartbroken guys i was once heartbroken it had heartbroken if you really want me to give you that 
full story of my heartbreak it was drama just tell me comment down below and say you want it yeah so i was heartbroken and um it was bad that i <clears throat> thought of ending my life that was so stupid of me mm? i don't know who that was back then me end my life because of a guy ew god forbid hmm? back to sender so this tattoo was inspired by the heartbreak so you see yeah so this tattoo uh it has like three meanings three am I? yeah it has three in one so this 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 thing i don't know if you can see clearly the round thingy uh, it's called a union so a union is um is uh is it japan or chinese symbol it symbolizes the balance of life so you can see it has a black uh um a black part the black part that has a, a heart this heart really means nothing it can be a circle or anything but i just chose to put a heart because the context was about love yeah so and it has um a white side with a black part inside so by balance of life it means like life whatever you're going through in life whether positive or negative it has it's when you're going through a positive period in your life there's always that kind of negative bit of it kadogo even and when you're going through a negative uh uh period of your life there's always that ka positive ka positivity and there's always that ka, ka light at the end of the tunnel like you know you understand what i'm saying well when you're going through a negative duration there's a ka positive there's always a bit uh, a little bit of ka positivity you can always say uh, at least i have this one at least i'm doing this so that's that's union for you so um i was going through this heartbreak and all these and um at some point everything synchronized and it, like just things balanced out uh, within that that um that whole uh period that whole drama um as much as i was feeling low and heartbroken and sad and all that i just i i everything balanced out at some point yeah and then there's this uh comma yeah so this the first meaning was the balance of life and now this this is um a full stop the whole thing it's like a full stop i was like the the point where I, I felt like this is the end and then i chose to continue so i put a a comma and now it became a semicolon that showed that life can continue with everything with with all the chaos that is happening around you so this is the the union is the first meaning and then the comma and then now this the semicolon thingy you know i chose to continue my story yeah it was so bad guys right <laughs> right now i find it so funny but that guy i will never wish a heartbreak even on my worst enemy what i will never wish a heartbreak even on someone who's eaten my 
Avocado. Yeah. So these stars are just uh, two decorations. Anyway, that was my that is the meaning of my this tattoo of mine. And then I was like just trying to tell people who judge people based on their appearance. Please stop stop doing it. I don't expect especially especially this generation, I do not ex expect people to judge people based on their life choices. I chose to put a tattoo. I chose to put a. I chose to put a nose spring. I chose to put dreadlocks. Um, 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 I chose to wear a short dress or a short skirt. Leave me alone. That that that's basically my life. Stop judging people. You know, those people who you find, they always have something to say. When you're wearing a bracelet, they're like. What does this mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? This is just an, a fashion piece. This is just me. I want to look like this. What do you mean? What? I'm wearing an anklet. What does it mean? Oh, I hear people say, Ati, it means you're communicating. What am I... Com anyway, guys. Stop judging people. There is nothing wrong with people wearing anklets. There is nothing wrong with people wearing necklaces. There is no nobody is trying to communicate anything unless it's in a in spiritual context. Me, I just wear things that make me happy. I am not trying to communicate anything to you. Hmm? It's just a a necklace. Relax. Calm down. It's a necklace. It's an anklet. Hmm? I'm not trying to communicate anything. What else? Hmm. And if you're looking into getting a tattoo, this is what I prefer. Um, I looked at when I was getting a tattoo. Because at the end of the day, you are still trying to fight this. Hmm. and civilization we're still trying to bring it bring in civilization and it will take a while honestly and people will judge you so i when i was going for a tattoo i tried to avoid facial tattoos not that i can't get one but i was like yes i want to but what impact will this have in my life? Like, I was like, if I get a tattoo here, a wrist tattoo, I can um, probably going, um, I'm probably going to, I want to apply for a job. I can always wear a, a long sleeve and people won't judge me in, in uh, first impression with that tattoo. After that, that will happen later after they've known me personally, who I am. You know, people tend to judge you in the first instant, your, the first impression. You come with a, they've seen a tattoo, they've seen, and you're here trying to convince them that you're a good person. And at the back of my, their mind, they've already put you in a cocoon. They've already stereotyped you. So it's hard to convince this person that tattoos, your tattoos do not define you. So I tried so much to avoid facial tattoos. Uh, so I went with this and uh, this one is very hard to notice. And the one on my ankle, um, you know, like I know so many ladies love these tattoos here. Me being one of them, the, the two stars that drop down here, the butterflies, something here. Um, for boobs, it's just my preference. I wouldn't want that, but I have nothing against it it's just that people have preferences like i said so if you're looking uh to get a tattoo don't just try to weigh your options uh, if you still want to be maybe in corporate world or um maybe just look at the factors that might affect you 
when you get a tattoo yeah mm, if, if i was to get another tattoo I'll definitely get it on my my back yeah i will i want to get one yeah just just some few advice here and there and uh that's it for me guys um i hope i've taught you one or two things guys thank you for being here uh um don't forget to be kind and always choose happiness bye